Hey guys, another tutorial video for Balloons Tower Defense 5. In this tutorial, we're going to make the Wizard Lord an actual upgrade for the Monkey Apprentice, and we're also going to learn how to use the sprite upgrade definitions. Alright, so go to your modding folder, Assets, JSON, and um, Weapon Definitions. Scroll down until you see Wizard Lord. What we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these weapons and we're going to put them in the Monkey Apprentice file folder, I should say. Now the reason we're doing that is so we can actually access the weapons when we tell the game to do that. Okay, now... Um Actually, quick thing I'd like to point out for you guys. If you see catch list.json, let's go ahead and open that up just so you guys can see what it is. This is a list of all of the weapons and the folders that they're in. If you guys add new weapons or do anything like that, you have to make sure to put it inside this folder or this file. I meant to point that out in a previous video, but you know, I'm doing it now. Okay, go back to JSON. Go to Upgrade Definitions, click on MonkeyApprentice.Upgrades. Go back to your uh, modding folder, go to JSON again, and let's see here, what do we need? Um, hmm. Took me a sec. Tower Sprite Upgrade Definitions. And go to Monkey Apprentice. Perfect. Okay. So. We got the Monkey Apprentice here. What we're going to do is change... Hmm. Let's go ahead and change Tempest Tornado, the fourth upgrade. We're going to change that to be a Wizard Lord. So first thing we need to do, copy this tower upgrade for a summon whirlwind. You're gonna click or copy basically tower upgrade, bracket, weapons, you know, two whirlwind dot weapon, bracket, bracket. You're gonna copy all of that. And then where it says uh, Tempest Tornado, the Tempest Tornado upgrade, go ahead and press enter right after the comma and paste it. Tower upgrades always need to go before weapon upgrades. Do that place a comma after the bottom bracket right here right there great now let's see here first and foremost we have to find out what the highest weapon is highest weapon slot active is number five so let's go ahead and start the first one off at six so we're gonna in this little spot right here where the quotes are for uh, whirlwind.weapon, we're going to replace that to 6. Let's go ahead and check to see what weapons the Wizard Lord has. Because, quite frankly, I don't have it memorized. Monkey Apprentice. I'm just going to put this sideways. There we go. Okay, so the first one is going to be... Wizard Lord... Dot weapon, as you can see right there. Put a comma after the end of that. Copy it. Paste, 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 and paste. And delete the last comma. Okay, so now, seven, seventh slot, Wizard Lord Chain Lightning. Dot weapon. Change this six to an eight. Wizard Lord Dragon Breath. We're copying this one now. That weapon, of course. Now we're going to do Wizard Lord Fireball, that weapon. We're going to put a 9 there. Wizard Lord Fireball, that weapon. Now we want to summon Phoenix. So Wizard Lord, well, first off, changes 6 to a 10. Wizard Lord. Summon Phoenix. 
Thought Weapon. Now we need the Whirlwind. Change this 6 to 11. Wizard Lord Whirlwind dot weapon. Oh, Whirlwind, no, Whirlwind dot weapon. Looks like I had one extra Wizard Lord dot weapon, so we're gonna get rid of that. And the last comma. The comma that's on Wizard Lord dot weapon. Press Control S. We're done there. So go to monkeyapprentice.json and let's go ahead and describe or explain what the uh, sprite upgrade definitions mean. This could look confusing. Honestly, it took me a while to figure it out. Um, right here is listed all of the, um, the actual sprites. So we have the Monkey Apprentice, that's his actual sprite. Monkey Apprentice Dragon Breath, that's when he has the flame ability where he, you know, spits fire. Um, Monkey Apprentice Glasses, yada yada. These sprites are assigned to specific um, numbers, basically. So the first one is zero, second one is one, third one is two, so on and so forth, until we reach six. Uh, but what we're going to do is... Hmm... We're going to press comma, enter, where it says Tempest Tornado. We're going to copy that, Tempest Tornado, by the way. Paste it. Make sure there's no comma at the end. Change that 6 to a 7. And rename Monkey Apprentice Tempest Tornado to Wizard, Wizard, Lord. Okay. So now the seventh one is going to be Wizard Lord. Now, to explain this, what the upgrade levels mean is the zero upgrade on the left and zero upgrade on the right, you'll have the zero sprite, regular monkey, monkey apprentice. Zero upgrade on the left and the first upgrade on the right will be the second one, which is the monkey apprentice with glasses. Zero upgrades on the left and two upgrades on the right will be the third one, which is monkey, monkey apprentice with the gray hat. Zero upgrades with the four, uh, fourth on the right will give you number four, which will be Monkey Apprentice Summon Phoenix. Oh, I skipped that. Zero on the left and three on the right is going to be one, which is Monkey Apprentice Dragon Breath. So you guys can kind of see these zeros and ones, even as an example, four and two. It looks like 42, but what they're really saying is four upgrades on the left and two on the right will give you six. And six is Monkey Apprentice Tempest Tornado. All we're going to do is replace everything that says six with the seven. So just replace where it says 42, basically. Replace that six to a seven. 41, replace that six to a seven. And 40, replace that six to a seven. Remember, it's four upgrades on the left and zero on the right. We're going to be putting this upgrade on the left side. Save that. And that actually should be it. Let's go ahead and double check. I think we're good. All right, so go ahead and zip it up. Add to archive. btd5.jet. Take our password. Paste our password in there. Let it run. Copy that in there. Let's give it a shot. All right, guys, so we're in game. Take your monkey apprentice and place him down. Upgrade him four times on the left. Here's the third and fourth. Boom, look at that, his sprite changed. So that's what happens when you change the sprite upgrade definition. It literally will change the way he looks. He does have a special ability, as you can see. I'll go ahead and fast forward it so he, you know, disappears faster. That's the Wizard Lord Phoenix our Summit Phoenix weapon. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we send an MOIB after him. Not too bad. Ooh, well, he couldn't handle an MOIB, but he probably can handle a spam of ceramics. Oh, look at that. Pretty nice, huh? Nice. All right, well, that's the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment box below. 
any requests, I'll be more than happy to fulfill them for you guys. Don't forget about the Discord channel. There's a lot of people on there who'd love to help you guys out. If you have any questions or anything, it's a nice big modding community. Um, any problems or none of this is really making sense, you're not sure how I'm doing any of this, make sure to watch the first video in the series, How to Actually Mod Balloons TD5. And the zip passwords will all be linked in the description below, as well as the Discord chat link. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!